Hey guys, it's Jimmy Fan here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. What we have here today to show you is the original small Rising from the Grave Reaper. This one was sold at Target, or at least this is the one that I bought at Target for 25 bucks. And the, it's funny because the year previously, the previous year, they were sold for 20 bucks. I don't remember exactly what year I got this. I think I got it in 2013, 2012 or 2013. One of those two years I got it. Um, I actually bought one before this the previous year of 2012 that uh, I was stupid enough to leave outside over, overnight and it turns out I got moisture in it it went extremely high pitched and then it died and that was one of the original ones unfortunately one of the original small Rising from the Grave Reapers that I purchased at Party City for actually around 10 bucks more it was around 32 bucks rather than 20 or 25 dollars uh, so I was pretty furious about that but luckily the next year they still had them available so I was more than happy to buy one at Target for 25 and I've not done that stupid thing with putting it outside overnight for Halloween night and then getting it, you know, have moisture all over it, but uh, I heard that they brought it back for this year, but in a, in a uh, different uh, a, di a different model basically that has two phrases instead of one, but it's basically the same size with the light up head sold for $39.99 at Spirit and yes, I'm going to go buy, I'm going to go buy that this year. I really want that version just you know, maybe I can make a cool comparison video between the old and the, and the new uh, one day for this year. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that one as well, but this one's just as cool. So, I guess we will check out the box first. There's really not much detail on it. It says $25 Rise from the Grave Reaper. Uh, sound activated. Uh, lunges at you. You know, the usual stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. You guys have seen more than enough videos on this guy, so you, you know exactly what it does. Backs up, lunges at you, scares the living crap out of you. At least most people that's not experienced with it besides the jumping spider. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it needs to be reset, so I will reset it and get back to you. So here we go. So really cool, it's, it's extremely loud though. That's one thing you gotta learn about Techie Toys props if you haven't already. They are extremely loud. Uh, they put the volume up on the circuit boards. They program them thanks to the max as far as volume goes. So, you know, they're loud, they gotta get your attention. So how else are you gonna do that besides increasing the volume limits? So anyways, we'll play them again. Funny thing is that um, at Walgreens, in my Walgreens in 2014, that was before the district had updated their product line of Halloween stuff. So they still, for example, they still had stuff from all the way back from 2006 to 2007. Now, I bought a few things as well. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, one of the th a couple things that they had were the original 2007 Rise from the Great Reapers. And I still kick myself in the butt every other day on Halloween because I didn't get those. They had about six of those left and they were half price and I should have gotten all of them and sold them like pretty to collectors of some sort because they all still work perfectly. Some of them had dead batteries of course because of the demo mode and everything but they were the originals and I should have freaking gotten them but I didn't so that was my bad. But anyways we'll, we'll play them one more time and then end this review. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes this review. And I've never really...
really used any, um, I've never really had to work on any Techie Toys mechanisms, but from what I heard, they are kind of difficult to work with. And I'm pretty sure that day will come for me to where I start working with these things. And some of you don't know that I, I may end up working for Spear Halloween this year, so that'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes this review, and uh, thanks for watching.